In a portion thick with large SUVs controlled by V8 motors, the Sequoia stands separated for its standard V6 half-breed powertrain, a framework that vows to save fuel without forfeiting execution. The 437 HP iForce Max powertrain is imparted to the Tundra crossover pickup truck, similar to the remainder of the Sequoia's underpinnings, and it's adequately heavy to tow and take as well as anyone. The Lodge is equipped pleasantly with all the normal tech treats, and its back seats are extensive enough for youngsters to settle in. Pulling grown-ups back there is an alternate story, as the third line is out and out excessively confined. Freight space behind the third line is restricted as well, and sadly, dropping the rearmost seats to fit more stuff in the back is thwarted by a lopsided burden floor with a high liftover level. Adversaries, for example, the Chevy Tahoe and the Passage campaign are essentially more pragmatic and adaptable. Be that as it may, assuming what you're searching for is an extra enormous SUV with half and half power, the Sequoia is a decent, and your just, choice. The restricted nightshade model joins the setup for 2024 and accompanies remarkable 20-inch TRD wheels painted in a matte dark completion to match other shutdown outside appearance things. Platinum trims can now be had with a similar TRD rough terrain bundle that was accessible on the restricted a year ago. The bundle adds a rough terrain suspension framework with Bilstein shocks, a pallet plate, an electronically controlled locking back differential rough terrain driving modes, a slither control framework, a slope drop control capability, and a couple of explicit appearance things. Restricted models with the TRD rough terrain bundle currently likewise accompany a shutdown outside appearance. The Sequoia comes standard with the iForce Max crossover powertrain that is discretionary in the Tundra pickup. This powertrain has included a twin Super 3.4 liter V6 motor and an electric engine that produce a sum of 437 GP and 583 pound-feet of force. The Tundra's 10-speed programmed transmission extends to the Sequoia SUV too. Back tire drive is standard, with four-wheel drive discretionary on most adaptations and standard on the rough terrain situated TRD Star model. The four-wheel drive Sequoia capstone we tried advanced to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds and arrived at a quarter mile in 14.3 seconds at 94 miles per hour. That is speedier than the last GMC Yukon Denali we tried, however, to some degree more slow than the Passage Endeavor tree line. The TRD Genius likewise accompanies rough terrain gear, for example, redesigned Fox dampers, a front pallet plate, a locking back differential, and manufactured 18-inch wheels with 33-inch tires. During our underlying test drive, we were satisfied with the Sequoia's agreeable ride and calm lodge, yet less so with its on-street driving way of behaving. Its broad inclination out and about makes it hard to put in a path, something we've grumbled about in other huge SUVs as well and its featherweight controlling exertion doesn't help. Its brake pedal likewise has a strangely soft feel. The new Sequoia's crossbreed arrangement makes it altogether more productive than the active model. Back tire drive models are EPA evaluated at 21 MPG City, 24 MPG Expressway, and 22 MPG Joined. Picking four-wheel drive drops those numbers a little to 19 MPG City, 22 MPG Roadway, and 20 MPG Consolidated. On our true 75 mph roadway efficiency test, our capstone test vehicle oversaw just 19 mpg. For more data about the Sequoia's mileage, visit the EPA's website. The Sequoia's enormous inside go on in this new age, with a third line of seats as standard hardware. A second column seat arrangement with an eight traveler limit is standard, with discretionary second line chief seats diminishing the quantity of seats to seven. Headroom is restricted in both of the back columns, especially when outfitted with the discretionary all-encompassing sunroof. With a large number of trim levels accessible, the inside arrangements run the range from plain to fancy and incorporate fabric and calfskin upholstery and differing levels of wood and chrome trim as you stroll up the cost stepping stool. Higher trim levels offer elements like warmed and cooled second column situates, an all-encompassing sunroof and a superior sound system. The Sequoia's freight region isn't quite as obliging as different opponents, in any case. With the back seat being used, there's just 12 cubic feet of freight space out back, and collapsing the third line down doesn't bring about a level burden floor. 
The old Sequoia's dated touchscreen arrangement has been traded out for the enormous 14.0-inch touchscreen tracked down in the Tundra. This screen comes standard on everything except the base SR5 and will utilize Toyota's most recent infotainment programming, which offers every conceivable kind of cell phone reflecting and other network choices, including a Wi-Fi.